Got another song, another song from Aaron Escalier. Escalier. Love that bass. Got El Chapo in there. Oh, 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 oh. No LeBron jumping. Watch this. Come on. Got to go hard. Good stuff, man. Okay, this is who it is. You go on YouTube, go to Aaron Aaron Escabel, and I want you to follow him, man. That boy's got a, this album that's just, it's called Clear. Crystal Clear. Awesome stuff. You'll enjoy it, I promise you. And uh, I am prophesying great things over our boy Aaron. Anyway, love the music, love the rap, even more so the words. Phenomenal words. I'm sitting outside uh, one of my favorite restaurants here in the Metro Place called Mi, Mi Pueblo Cocina de Mexico. Ahoy! Made by real Mexicans. Very important statement. <laughs> and uh, anyway, good stuff here down the road from my house. About to have some lunch. Uh, Going to have uh, probably some fajita tacos along with an enchilada. They got these enchiladas that just won't quit. And then my wife and I are going to run over to the movies, go catch a film. I want to talk to you a little bit, but specifically something that he says in this song is very powerful. He says that you got you to gotta go hard and you got to work at it. You, don't be a faker. You know, and, and he, he makes a comment about how some people are so caught up in the, the money. Listen to this. Right, that's right, Jesus Gospel. So, you're using your voice. You know, you got to do what you got to do and use what you presently have to be able to get the gospel out there and quit playing around, quit gaming the system and get some things done. There's a couple of things that I'm wrestling with. Uh, first of all, I'm about to deposit my life into a group of people that their lives will change, be with them for 25 years, going to see their life transform, getting ready to switch into the next gear of life. I got my gray hair on. You know what that means? I got some history. I got some stories. I got some messages. I got some word. I'm going to be over down in the valley this weekend, next weekend, actually. Sunday, next Sunday, I'm preaching at Faith Please God Church. Excited to be able to be there. And then I'll be with my brother and the entire team for the fire revival. I got a word of fire for you. I think you'll enjoy for the entire week. Got other guest speakers that will be there. I kick it off, I think, on Sunday. And we'll have a good time on Sunday. And then... The following Sunday, I'm actually speaking at a church up in uh, up in Far, which I'll give you some more information about that later. But right now, next Sunday, remember next Sunday, I'm going to be at Faith Pleases God Church in Harlingen, Texas, and I believe they're still going to do the McAllen service too in the evening. I'm going to go visit them, and uh, we'll have a good time there. Anyway, something real keen about that song. What I liked about the song is talking about how people use money. For their own personal gain, for their own their own imagery, or it's all fake, and uh, or sometimes we get lost in our own finances. And I want you to know something: finances are good. There's nothing wrong with that. Money is good. The Bible says money money answers all things, as wisdom answers all things, or wisdom answers all things, money answers all things. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seven. It's very very important to get your money right. 
When you get your money right, you'll be able to do a lot of things, be able to do great things for the kingdom of God. And you'll be able to do things for inside, inside your house. If you think you don't need money, you're being fooled. You're being fooled. You need money. There's no question about it. It's what kind of relationship do you have with your money? That's the key thing. What kind of relationship do you have with your money? And so I'm going to be uh, teaching a couple of uh, power-packed character messages. Character messages on YouTube this week. You'll get a chance to see them. I'm going to be speaking about... Uh, about having a good relationship with your finances, a good relationship with your friends, and good re relationship with your family. Three to F's, finances, friends, and your family. So it's very important for you to have that. And let's make sure that you get a, get a, get ahead. So if you can, run on over to YouTube. Go look for, hey, Brother Bernie, been praying for you every day, pr praying for you, Bernie. I'm going to go down and see you. And so run on over to YouTube. Go to my YouTube page. I have two of them. Subscribe to both and smash that bell. Let's see. Will you go live? I will be live on Sunday. Yeah. Where are you, Annie? Anna, where are you? And um, I w we will be live at Faith Place of God Church. Be going live on Sunday. Most definitely. Tell me where you're watching. Alfonso, God bless you. I'm about to head over and, and walk into this restaurant where, ooh, some good food. Edinburgh. And a great thing's going to happen in Edinburgh. Yeah, I'll be broadcasting live on Sunday morning uh, from Faith Please God Church. It's going to be fantastic. Edinburgh! I like that town. And I'll be down the road from you over in uh, the following week, over in FAR. I'll get you more information about that, too. Tom, God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. So we'll get a chance to have some fun. Got some more. Yeah, I got this restaurant here called Mi Puebla Cocina de Mexico. This is like... You know, when you when you leave the valley or you leave the border, it's like the, the Mexican food just kind of begins to sacrifice and, and suffer. But this place here is like a bit of heaven. It's good stuff. And Martin, God bless you, Martin. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited too. Man, there's a lot of people coming and going. I better run inside there and make sure I get me a chair. Listen to a little bit of this song, The Backside of Grace. I love this song. It makes me cry. Because it speaks to me. It speaks to me. Oh, I got to play it back. Hang on for a second, guys. Here we go. You got to hear the words of the song. It's awesome stuff. This is Aaron Aaron. Got a new logo. Aaron Escabel. Melly, God bless you. I love this. Listen to this. Aaron. Oh, I can't I can't listen to declaration, man. My declaration tears me up. Tears me up. Alright, guys. I gotta head over, get inside mi casina. It's actually mi puebla, not mi casina. I don't wanna be in the I don't wanna be in the kitchen. What is that with mi casina? Who came up with that name, mi cocina, mi cocina? They can't even say mi cocina. Even when you talk to people, they don't know what mi cocina means. Oh, look, watch this. Puebla, mi pueblo, mi gente. Wow. Ooh. That's it right there. Mi pueblo, cocina de Mexico. That's real Mexican food, let me tell you. That's real Mexican food. That gets it real. Anyway, my wife is going to join me here, and I'm, I got I to gotta get in there. Hang on for a second. I got to get my. I got to pay the bill. Oh. All right, guys, listen, don't forget, Sunday. Next Sunday, I'll be in Harlingen, Ministry of Faith Please God Church, with my brother. Whole week, Fire Revival. 
following Sunday somewhere else. Stay tuned, and we're going to have some fun. I'm going to spend 7, 8, 9, 10 days, 12 days. I also got something going on on San Benito and Mexico. I'll talk to you guys later. God bless. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. I got to show everybody my favorite restaurant. All right, bye.